Hey, what's going on guys? It's uh, Fitz here, bringing you some bad Battlefield 3 footage. Uh, it's a game of Conquest in which we uh, we lose pretty soundly. They take all the uh, all the flags and they push us back and uh, push our shit in. So, uh, I hope you enjoy it. Anyway, the reason I'm putting this video out is basically I'd like to let you guys know on something that really cool happened to me the other day. I was, uh, you know, at work at my desk doing my thing. And all of a sudden, my phone just started uh, buzzing and buzzing and buzzing, and I was getting all these email notifications. When I clicked on them, it was uh, YouTube going nuts, telling me that there were comments on, on a video. And uh, within the course of about two hours, I had over 300 emails coming in. I couldn't shut off my subscriptions because I didn't have access to YouTube to do that. But... Uh, you know, I was wondering what the hell was going on. I, I was at work, so I didn't have time to research it or anything. But I figured quite possibly that maybe one of my videos had hit on uh, Machinima Respawn or something. And I, I couldn't figure out for the life of me. And finally, I got talking uh, on ping chat through my iPhone to uh, a friend of mine from the States. And he said that he saw the video up on a Facebook, on the Battlefield Facebook page. And it said that, uh, you know... We're thanking the boys from DontReviveMeBro.com for this submission. Uh, a few weeks ago, I submitted a, uh, a quick little clip of a, of a helicopter bailout where I parachuted down and landed into a into a, a jeep or something like that. It, it wasn't amazing or anything, but it was definitely post-worthy. And uh, they put it up on their channel. I've been Don't Revive Me Bro is a group that I've been following uh, since Bad Company Two. Great bunch of guys. They post really good information. They, they know what they're talking about. It's a good source, good community. Uh, they like to have fun, and uh, a whole bunch of really talented people over there that put together quite a nice package. So uh, I submitted over there. Uh, I belong to the forums and stuff, although I don't uh, I don't really post on the forums. I'm not much of a forum guy. I kind of had my, uh, my fill of that, but we won't go into that. But I still, I am active in their community, and I subscribe to a lot of them on Twitter, and and stuff like that and and they helped me out they uh, not only did they post my video on their website which generated some hits they forwarded on to the uh, battlefield Facebook site that actually put it on and I'm a small YouTube channel and when I put up a video you know I grind it out and uh, I try to get as many uh, views and comments and stuff as I can in doing so I might get about 200 views and not a lot of comments over the course of uh, you know a few months with a video. Um, I'm, I'm not a beast of a player. I'm not putting up, a, you know, I can't uh, title my videos AA58 goes 52 and 0 on uh, you know Erica Harbor or something like that. That's gold for for YouTubers because people want to see that kind of stuff. Or most people want to see that kind of stuff. And I, I'm just not that type of player. I'll, I'll never get that. But I had a unique little video that le they liked, and it went on the like I said, the Facebook page, and through the course of a day, my small little video went from a uh, hundred views, which I generated on my own, just uh, you know, poking around in the YouTube universe, to I think it's at uh, I think over twenty-five thousand views now, which is pretty amazing, and uh, you know that helps me out a lot. That exposure uh, in tune because I have my videos linked. People looked at other videos, and you know how it goes, guys, but. But basically, I'm getting a lot more views now, and uh, I'd like to say a great big thanks to the guys at DontReviveMeBro.com for uh, for doing that for me because, you know, they didn't have to do that, but, you know, they, they like improving on the community and helping people out, and they sure did help me out. So thanks a lot, guys. Uh, I'm going to continue to do my best to bring to you guys half-decent footage to watch. Um, as far as how-tos and tips and tricks, you're not going to get too much of that, but you might get some good entertaining footage out of me usually I like posting the let's plays with my friends we get into games when we have a lot of fun but since the, the communications are still broken in Battlefield 3 and you can't hear your squad mates there's no point in doing that so basically I'm bringing you some some conquest here where I don't know I think I went 9 and 7 or something like that but without the communication we, we couldn't really do anything I got a few decent kills but for the most part our, our team got demolished but the purpose of this video was just to uh, tell you about my cool day and what happened. So realistically, I, you know, I do know that probably my 15 minutes of YouTube fame are over. It's going to be tough for a small channel like me to compete with the big ones, 
And that's not what I'm trying to do. I don't need, you know, four, five, six thousand viewers like some of them. Hey, I don't have the time to manage something like that. But uh, getting noticed and getting some views and getting some comments was actually was actually pretty cool. I had my 15 minutes of fame and now it's back to grinding it out in the YouTube universe. And I don't mind. I'm meeting some really cool people along the way and, and having some fun. And that's what it's all about. So uh, basically, that, that, that was my cool day. As far as Battlefield 3 goes, uh, on Twitter we've been talking to uh, some of the people in the Battlefield community. And they're assuring us that they're going to fix this game and they're going to bring back the squad communication and stuff. It's been a month now. Uh, I hope they get it done because this game would, would really rock if, if they could pull that off. And I don't know, 30 days is a long time to be going with it. I don't know if the game's beyond broken or if it's in the code that they can't actually pull that together. I know nothing about programming, so uh, who knows. But I like, I like the game so far. Uh, I'm only a level 14 or something. I think I've got 13 hours logged into this game. Not a lot compared to a lot of the other guys out there. I'm still learning the ropes. I'm still having a hell of a time <laughs> with my thumbsticks. And what I mean by that is I'm a panic gamer. And when I get in trouble, I have heavy hands and I push down on the thumbsticks. So in a lot of my videos, you're going to see me if I go one-on-one -on -one in a gun battle. Although it looks like I'm drop shotting. I'm not. That's actually a panic reaction. And it happens a lot. Sometimes it screws me up. I'll see someone. I'll have a clean line of sight. They'll be running by a window. I'll go to shoot. I'll push down on the thumbstick. Next thing you know, I'm looking at the wall. I have to get back up again by that time they're gone. And uh, usually it gets me into trouble. But, uh, you know, what can you do? I, I, I'm not going to get into the game and talk about weapons. This is the worst spawn ever. Uh -oh. You know, can't spawn on my squad mates. They're not telling me if they're uh, they're in good shape or not, or what they're planning on doing. So I'm just trying to push push forward like I can, and I'm getting in trouble for it. Basically, they got the whole tube uh, the whole tube filled up now, and they're, and they're bringing all their their heavy armor and stuff out, and they're just shelling the piss out of us. And there's there's not much we can do. Like I said before, we can't communicate, so it's it's uh, single soldiers only, running and gunning, trying to pick up as many kills as you can. There's no way we can get through. This is actually a really, really linear map. Uh, you can't flank around. You're pretty much done here. If, if they got the artillery and the and the heavy weapons at the base of the tunnel there and they're pushing you back. Like, I'm getting suppressed here. I don't even know where the hell it's coming from. You'll see me turn around. I'm trying to look at the mountains. I think maybe there's a sniper in there or something. I can't find anything that has a line in sight on me here, so I'm really confused. But I continue to get suppressed here for some damn reason. And... Uh, it really starts to bug me. I don't know where it's coming from. So, uh, you know, I'm just going to play the coward. I'm just going to hang back here because there's no point in moving up and dying. Uh, and, you know, for nothing. See, I'm still getting suppressed. I have no idea where it's coming. And that suppression uh, unlock, I guess, uh, I think that really, really um, favors whoever whoever's using it. Because not only does it... Uh, you know mess you up but once the screen starts to go fuzzy you can't uh, you can't retaliate I mean you can't quickly turn around get a beat on someone and shoot them or at least I can't because as soon as I do and I'm turning into where I'm getting shot from you can't see anything so it's I'm not gonna say it's overpowered but because I guess in real life if that was happening to you, you know you wouldn't be able to do anything so I think it's a neat feature I'm glad they brought it to the game I can't wait until uh, I get it unlocked, so I'm definitely going to use it. Uh, other other things that I think is neat that they brought to the game, you know, a lot of people are going to disagree with me here, but the uh, the tack lights, I think they're really cool. Um, overpowered, yes, I think they're uh, a little bit too much if you're using them on maps like uh, Metro. And in this, I think they'd work good because in real life, if you had an LED light flash in your face from close range, it would blind you. But from across the map on a, on a bright sunny day, you know, I, I don't really see a purpose for that. I don't know if they can program into it the light's inten intensity over range. I guess they could for, uh, I mean, they can do it with bullet damage. Why can't they do it with, uh, you know, with the lighting effect? Pretty much do anything in the game now these days. But yeah, that's pretty cool. The, uh, the laser light, I was never a, a fan of uh, laser. I thought it would just totally give away your position. But I don't find it in this game. Um, usually when I see the uh, the red light of a laser, it's usually too late for me. 
and when I use it myself, I don't find it getting me into too much trouble. I know you can turn it on and off and use it more tactically, which is which is really, really good. And here they've pushed up far enough now that they're actually on top of the base. And here's a little quick game of whack-a-mole. This is horrible aim by me. I am getting hit markers. I don't know why he didn't go down, but we're going to play a little peekaboo here. And uh, I'm usually at the... Uh, the losing end of the peekaboo games because I get way too anxious but I'm just gonna hang back here no sense of me even standing up because they got the uh, the end of the tunnel pulled here I see we actually got B which is cool but I think it's too late uh, still push back the squad that I'm, I'm actually currently running with in here I don't know them but we're all kind of hanging together and there I finally get them he decided to come out for a bit of revenge anyway um what was I talking about? Oh, oh, the unique feature. And here, don't ask me why I'm pulling up my mines here. I was actually trying to figure out how to get my gun to single shot. Like I said, I don't have a lot of hours logged in here, and I don't have all the little finesse techniques. At least I don't remember all the little finesse techniques. So that's why I was pulling up my mine and my rocket and all that kind of garbage. And, uh, yeah, still getting our shit pushed in and pushed back. And, you know, this game is probably almost over in fact it is over and uh you know not a very good performance uh, i'm not going to complain about it i, I kind of did okay nine is seven is okay i'm not going to balk at that or anything but the main thing was uh really pissed off that we still don't have the the squad chat going we really need it it makes this game so much more better so uh you know dice if you're listening i'm sure you, people are complaining about oh please please fix it man it's going to make this game night and day i promise Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, more videos coming. Sorry about my throat. Uh, I think I'm coming down with something. But anyway, cheers, guys. Talk to you later.